Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation 3x minus 3 whole to the power 4 plus 3x minus 4 whole cubed plus 3x minus 5 whole squared is equal to 2. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. 3 times x minus 3 whole to the power 4 plus 3 times x this negative 4 can be written as a negative 3 minus 1 whole cube plus 3 times x this negative 5 can be written as a negative 3 minus 2 whole squared is equal to 2. We suppose that this 3x minus 3 is equal to t. Let 3 times x minus 3 is equal to t. So, this equation will become t to the power 4 plus t minus 1 whole cubed plus t minus 2 whole squared is equal to 2. Now, we move this 2 to the left hand side. So, this will become t to the power 4 plus t minus 1 whole cube plus t minus 2 whole squared. This 2 will become negative 2 at left hand side and negative 2 can be written as a negative 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. This t to the power 4 can be written as a t squared whole squared. We write this negative 1 here negative 1 is same as 1 squared plus this t minus 1 whole cubed plus this t minus 2 whole squared minus this one is same as 1 squared is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This uh, t squared whole squared minus uh, 1 squared will become t squared plus 1 times uh, t squared minus 1 plus this will remain same t minus 1 whole cube plus uh, by using this algebraic identity this uh, t minus 2 squared minus uh, 1 squared will become t minus 2 plus 1 times uh, t minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 0. Next t squared plus uh, 1 this one is same as 1 squared. So, by using this algebraic identity, this uh, t squared minus uh, 1 squared will become t plus 1 times uh, t minus 1 plus this t minus 1 whole cube can be written as uh, t minus 1 times uh, t minus 1 whole squared plus this uh, t minus 2 plus 1 will become t minus 1 times uh, this t minus 2 minus 1 will become t minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression t minus 1, this expression t minus 1 is common. So, we factor out this uh, t minus 1 and uh, in bracket left, uh, in bracket left this uh, t squared plus 1 times uh, t plus 1 plus uh, this uh, t minus 1 whole squared plus this t minus 3. In bracket left uh, t squared plus 1 times uh, t plus 1 plus uh, t minus 1 whole squared plus uh, t minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, we expand this uh, t minus 1 whole squared using this uh, algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to 
a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared. So, this will become t minus 1 times this t squared plus 1 times t plus 1 plus this expression will become t squared minus 2 times t plus 1 plus this t minus 3 t minus 3 is equal to 0. Next, t minus 1 times this expression t squared plus 1 times t plus 1 plus this t squared minus 2 times t. And we write this plus t first plus t and this 1 minus 3 will become negative 2 is equal to 0. X t minus 1 times this expression t squared plus 1 times t plus 1. From these two terms t squared minus 2t we can factor out plus t in by the left t minus 2 and from these two terms we can factor out plus 1 in by the left t minus 2 is equal to 0. Next t minus 1 times this expression t squared plus 1 times t plus 1. From these two terms we can factor out this t minus 2. So, plus t minus 2 as common factor and in bracket left bracket left this t and this 1 bracket left t plus 1 is equal to 0 x t minus 1 times from these two terms we can factor out t plus 1. So, t plus 1 as common factor and in bracket left bracket left this t squared plus 1 plus t minus 2 in bracket left t squared plus 1 plus t minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this will become t minus 1 times t plus 1 times this t squared t squared plus this t and 1 minus 2 will become negative 1 is equal to 0. And from here either this expression t minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression t plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression t squared plus t minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 1. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to negative 1. And from this quadratic equation we get the value of t is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, t is equal to negative 1 plus minus this 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 is plus 4. So, this 1 plus 4 will become root 5 divided by 2 times 1 2. Now, we have uh, three values of t. To find the values of uh, x, uh, we recall that we have supposed. We have supposed that uh, 3 times x minus 3 is equal to t. We have supposed that uh, 3 times x 
minus 3 is equal to t. So, when t is equal to 1, then this equation will become 3 times x minus 3 is equal to 1. This implies that 3 times x is equal to 4 and from here we get the value of x is equal to 4 over 3. When t is equal to negative 1, then this equation will become 3 times x minus 3 is equal to negative 1. This implies that 3 times x is equal to 2 and from here we get the value of x is equal to 2 over 3. When t is equal to this value, so this will become 3 times x minus 3 is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 5 over 2. And we multiply both sides by 2. So, this will become 2 times 3x, 6 times x. And 2 times negative 3, negative 6 is equal to this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and uh, at right hand side we are left with the negative 1 plus minus root 5. And we add 6 to both sides. So, this get cancelled and we are left with the 6 times x is equal to 5 plus minus root 5. And if we divide both sides by 6, this implies that uh, x is equal to 5 plus minus root 5 over 6. This is the first value of x, this is the second value of x and these are third and fourth values of x. So, we have uh, four solutions of uh, this equation. 4 over 3, 2 over 3 and uh, 5 plus minus root 5 over 6.